So today we are going to set up this seven gallon rimless tank. I have an idea and uh, I'm planning to house a pair of a pistol with this seven gallon. I know it's a little too small, but I think those uh, pistols I want, they're pretty young, so they're not full adult size. They should be fine in this tank. Yeah, and it's very long lengthwise. So for pistols, it matters more about length than depth. It doesn't matter if you have a really huge amount, like a huge size aquarium. Yep. If it's narrow and small, they only care about the ground. So this yeah. has a lot of ground, ground space, even more than a 10 gallon, for example. Yeah, and I will build caves and heavily plant it. So yeah, they should be good. They should be able to hide. So first we need get some uh, Substrate. Substrate. Not sure if they're still okay. My um. It's right there. Yeah, let me get it. Which one? The yeah. Shaw bag or the the plastic bag? The plastic bag. The transparent plastic bag. Ooh, That's... the rain has had some. I got it. I got it. Don't dirty your hands. What's inside? What's inside? Probably a society. Oh no, I've got mud on my legs. That's fine. Give it to me. I've already got my hands dirty. Okay, feminism. <laughs> ah, you wiped it on my pants. <laughs> oh no! I would need that scoop. Plastic one. I'm actually curious to see what's inside this bag. I saved the soil, but I think there is some plants growing in it. So this is the base nutrient layer and uh So that when I put a sand cap on top of it, it's not going to collapse. Like, we don't take anything out, just add it. This gravel is from uh, Home Depot. I think $5. A huge bag. And uh, they look dirty now, but once I rinse them, they're gonna look pretty. Check this out, it looks so good. Looks so good. Yeah, see the aim in it. I have these other gravel that I might use later on. These are bigger. But before that, I need to put the bigger rocks that I collected. These are the bigger slat rocks I collect. Slate. Slate. No, it's slat. I don't slat know. Slat or slate. 
flat rocks. You know, rocks just pieces, flat rocks. I want to use them to build a hardscape. That's what they say.、Mm. So I want to. My vision is basically several rocks opening like a fan here, and then a big piece of flat rocks in the middle, and then another one aiming this direction. Back, I'm gonna put the stem plants. That's such a good idea. That's pretty much it. That's the idea. Okay. So before I fill too much stuff in this tank, before it gets too heavy, I'm gonna have to carry this back to our room so that we can do the following, you know, planting and etc. If、uh, if you drop it, we'll change the name of this video to the sacrifices of fish keeping. So need to put a light before we can see anything. Wow! Look at that! I love how that looks. Not bad. I'm too hot. I need to take my shirt off. That's a weird thing to say in the video. Pretty much like a river bottom. Yeah, and hopefully these rocks will create a visual barrier so that the apestos don't murder each other. This one is gonna get blocked, so might as well not use this. Look at those beautiful stripes on that rock. Yeah, so there will be more space for me to put plants. Let's sand it up. I have some driftwood from the other tank. Weird shape, so I think maybe this one can just, you know, sit across this rock. Perfect. Now is the plant part. And、I also realized I forgot to put the heater in. Need to find a place for the heater. Let's fill up the tank with water. This is so exciting! I bet it's gonna look amazing.
cool. So look at the condensation. Wow, that looks good. It looks like a tropical island. This is the next day. The tank is, the water is all clean, clear. And I've also got the fish. Not sure if you guys know this kind of fish. It's called bumblebee goby. They're so cute. I saw them in the fish store. They would just, you know, stick to the glass. I was like, they're so cute. I have to get them. And uh, my friend who owns the fish store, he was like, yeah, yeah, they're absolutely so cute. And later on, I'm planning to get some pea puffers as well. And he told me, and he told me this one would get along with the, uh, the pea puffer. So I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Then I will get them. Hold on, I need to turn off the 55, the light behind me. This is causing reflection. Okay, let me turn this off just for a bit. Sorry, guys. The glass is a little bit dirty inside. I didn't do a thorough clean, but later on, I'm planning also to put some snails in it so that the pea poppers can eat them. And, uh, you know, the snails can also help clean the glass. So far, I really like this setup. I think my idea is that the, the plants in the back, the stem plants will grow really, really tall and eventually they will grow outside the tank and form like a jungle on top. And I've also put some floating plants, frog bed, red root floaters, there's some red plants in the back. Right now they're still short, but they will grow for sure and uh, find a spot to hide the heater as well as the filter. So right now I'm just acclimating these um, gobies and uh, they're so cute. I will get more if they're doing okay in this tank. Yeah, if you take a look at these Danubias, a little bit broken is because they were in the 20 gallon and there wasn't enough light and didn't add any fertilizer either and also this java fern, but I think they will recover pretty fast because this light is really strong. And the idea is also that I want to grow a lot of algae on this piece of rock. So it form like an algae carpet. And uh, my friend says this kind of goby that would also eat that kind of algae. So I'm really excited for that. All right, I think the acclimation is done. I'm gonna release them. Hopefully they're doing okay. So far they seem fine. They always like stick to the glass, like those are uh, placos. So it's, I'm really excited for them. I'm really excited to see that behavior. I think it's so cute. And if they're doing well, I'm going to get the rest of them in the fish store. I think there are two more left. If not, I'm going to feel so bad. But now let's catch them and release them. Okay, come here, buddy. Just a little bit. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, all in. Okay, 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 okay. Take these out, let you guys in. Yes, come out, come out, come out, come out. That's the net. <laughs> They're so cute. They're just on that rock where exactly I want them to be. 